We're going to spend a couple of minutes here talking about our due diligence period. Uh, what are we actually doing uh, to identify an asset as something that, that makes sense and for, for want of a better term, ticks all the boxes, if you will, uh, to come into the fund. So when we get into due diligence, there's, there's a few different areas that we obviously focus our attention. The first one is a full inspection. Um, we're looking for any uh, material defects in the property. Um, we use certified inspectors to do this, um, just like maybe you're familiar with a, a home inspection that you would do if you're purchasing a residence. We do exactly the same thing, but obviously on a larger scale. Um, the scope of the inspector's report is expanded beyond common criteria found in a typical inspection because we get into uh, areas that are pertinent to commercial. Uh, an example, 21E, for example. 21E is a, um, uh, an inspection with regard to any contamination uh, that may be on the site. So it's very in-depth. Um, it does take some time, but it's critical to, uh, to the success of the fund going forward. Um, we also um, look for uh, termite and things of that nature, um, engineering and environmental, like I said, to make sure that the property is, is exactly where we need it to be. Our due diligence period, we'll also talk about and look at any structural improvements that need to be done. Um, we'll identify this through, through our internal team. Uh, as, as you already know, we've got a track record of over 20 years of taking these assets and, and fixing them, turning them around. Um, legally, we retain um, the top law firms in, in the specific area where we're buying one of these assets uh, to make sure that we have um, that, obviously, that professional presence, if you will. Um, I'm not an accountant. I'm not an attorney, but I know where the very best ones are. So we, we utilize them uh, to determine any potential risks that there may be to the fund that we don't see in our initial due diligence period. Um, what we do with all of this data is, is we create a, a feasibility study. These steps need to be um, gone through prior to um, acquisition for obvious reasons. It's safety, it's security. We don't just do it every now and again. We do it on time every time when, when we take one of these assets down. Um, you know, it gives us a, a feasibility study and, a, and it really it works out into a score ratio for us, whether we, uh, whether we consider that this will fit the fund or not for us going forward. So that's, um, that's the, the due diligence piece. That's the, uh, the bigger picture, the bigger picture on, um, on how we, we, we look at these assets going forward before we even get to the point of making an acquisition on them. Okay.